Let me ask you something. Is your iPhone battery draining fast? Even after you've already changed some settings, I've already made multiple videos about iOS 26 battery drain and a lot of you watch them. But today I'm doing the ultimate version. In this video, I'm going to show you every real reason why iPhone batteries drain fast in 2026 and exactly how to fix each one step by step. So if you want better battery life, fewer charges and less stress, watch this till the end. Section 1, iOS and system level drainers. The first tip here is iOS re-indexing after updates. After a major iOS update, your iPhone does a lot of background work, indexing photos, messages, apps, and system files. This can cause battery drain for a few days. In most cases, you don't need to do anything. Just give it time and battery life will stabilize. Number two, adaptive power on supported iPhones only. If your iPhone supports adaptive power, turn it on. You can go to the settings, then battery and power mode. Turn on adaptive power. This automatically reduces background activity when your battery drains faster than usual. Then low power mode, use it smartly. Low power mode is still one of the best tools. You can go to the settings, then battery. Turn on low power mode. You can also do this through control center, which is much easier. You don't need it all day, but below 30 or 40%, it helps a lot. Apple intelligence, if available. If your iPhone supports Apple intelligence and you don't really use it, disabling it can save battery. You can go to the settings, Apple intelligence, turn it off if you don't need it. Then iPhone analytics. Analytics run in the background and send logs to Apple. You can go to the settings, privacy and security, analytics and improvements. Turn off share iPhone analytics, share iCloud analytics. Most users lose nothing by turning these off. Yes, you're not losing anything here. Section two, display and visual effects biggest battery killers yes i'm gonna say it again this section is biggest battery killers the first one to mention here is high screen brightness number one drainer this is probably the biggest battery killer instead of manually keeping brightness high use auto brightness you can go to the settings and then accessibility then display and text size Scroll down and turn on auto brightness. Then let's move to the next one, which is always on display. Of course, if supported. If your iPhone has always on display and you don't need it, you can go to the settings and then display and brightness. Turn off always on display. Let's move to the next one, which is really important. And this came after the release of iOS 26, which is liquid glass. Advanced UI effects like liquid glass use more GPU. You can go to the settings and then accessibility and then display and text size. Here, you can toggle on reduce transparency. Another important one is reducing motion. Reducing animations improves battery and performance. And for this one also, you can go to the settings, accessibility and motion. Now turn on reduce motion. Now you can see the difference. Now we're moving to section three, which is connectivity drainers. First one to mention here is 5G in weak signal areas. 5G drains more battery when signal is weak. You can go to the settings and then cellular, cellular data options, change voice and data to LTE if needed, or 5G Auto. Next, Wi-Fi Assist. Wi-Fi Assist uses cellular data silently. You can go to the cellular in the settings and scroll down and turn off Wi-Fi Assist. Bluetooth always on. Also, if you're not using Bluetooth devices, turn Bluetooth off from Control Center or Settings. AirDrop Visibility constantly scans nearby devices. You can go to the settings, general and airdrop. 
set it to contacts only or receiving off. You can also do it, I mean, quicker through the control center, which is easier. Personal hotspot is the next one. Turn personal hotspot off when not using it. You can go to the settings, personal hotspot, turn off, allow others to join. You can do this through control center, which is much easier. Now let's move to section four, apps and background activity. Now the most important one to mention here is battery usage screen. You can go to the settings and then battery. Now check which apps use the most battery. These are your real drainers. So set limits. Background app refresh. Most apps don't need background refresh. You can go to the settings, then general, background app refresh. Turn off for non-essential apps. Then we have social media apps. You have to set limits for social media apps. Apps like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat are heavy battery users. Limit background activity or usage time. Then we have poorly optimized apps. If an app drains battery abnormally, update it or delete it. Yeah, I mean, just delete it. Then we have widgets and live activities. Every widget refresh costs power. Remove widgets you don't actually use, even from the lock screen as well. Now let's head to section five for location and sensors. Now, the first one to mention here is app location access. You can go to the settings, then privacy and security and location services. Tap on each app. For most apps, set location access to while using the app. Avoid always and less absolutely necessary or just turn it off. Then we have system location services. Still inside location services, scroll down and tap system services. Turn off these four options. Then we have motion and fitness tracking. If you don't use fitness tracking, go to the settings, privacy and security, then motion and fitness. Turn off fitness tracking. Now let's move to section six, sound and haptics, also input. Now, keyboard vibration is the first one to mention here, which is something, I mean, really, I find it like useless. Keyboard vibration uses power on every tap. Go to the settings, then sounds and haptics, then keyboard feedback. Turn off haptic or just the two options. Now, system haptics as well. System haptics also consume battery. Yeah, you're using your iPhone on daily basis and system haptics are like maybe one of the biggest drainers. You can go to the settings and then sounds and haptics. Turn off system haptics. Then we have speaker volume. Speakers use more power than headphones. Lower volume when possible. Then we're heading to section seven, Siri and background features. Hey Siri, always listening. Go to the settings and then Siri and search. Turn off, listen for Hey Siri. Also, Siri suggestions. Now, still in Siri and search, turn off these options. Now, let's move to section eight, iCloud and Sync. Now, the first one to mention here is limit iCloud Sync. Do not disable. You can go to the settings, then tap on your name, then iCloud. Show all, tap on that one, and turn off syncing for apps you don't need constantly. Then we have mail fetch settings. You can go to the settings, then mail, tap on accounts, and fetch new data. Turn off push, and also set fetch to hourly or manually. Now we have section nine, which is the last one, hardware and maintenance. Battery health below 80%. At this point, fast drain is normal. Battery replacement helps a lot. Now, heat also is very important. Avoid charging or gaming in hot environments. Another one to mention here is cheap chargers and cables. Use certified chargers to avoid heat and inefficiency. Also, restart your iPhone. You restart your iPhone every few days is really helpful to stop battery draining. 
The last one to mention, the last option is reset all settings. You can go to the settings, general, transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset and reset all settings. This does not delete your data. Yes, I'm going to say it again. This does not delete your data. This only resets all the settings. So guys, if you watched this far, your iPhone battery is already better than most people's. I'll keep testing iOS updates and sharing real fixes. Like the video, subscribe and check the other battery videos on my channel. Leave a comment and tell me how many of these you already know and how many you don't. Your battery will thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.